So today we are back talking about drama in the CS2 scene. Obviously, drama uh, is no stranger to the Counter-Strike community, and we are back once again, this time in the competitive scene, uh, with some Astralis drama going on with the Blast premiere of uh, Fall Finals. Uh, I am Jeremy, CS2 collector, investor, and cash trader. In this video today, we're going to be talking about all the craziness that's been going on in the Counter-Strike 2 Pro scene, all the fallout, uh, why people are very, very upset right now, uh, and why this is probably going to lead to some changes uh, going on in the future. But of course, first, I just want to mention my cash trading business. If you are looking to sell any of your CS2 items, turn them into cold hard cash or crypto or any other payment method, definitely hit me up over on Twitter. It's going to be the first link in the description below. I'm mostly looking for stuff that, um, you know, is a little bit more expensive. I know there's been some people coming to me with like $5 guns or $6, whatever, whatever, you know, the bigger, the better. We want to get some big, exciting deals done. Like you can see here, some of the stuff we've been uh, buying recently, Bayonet Frog and a knife and a, a Deagle Print Stream and a Cattle 15 Titan Hollow. Uh, uh, we, you know, we're looking for a little bit more expensive stuff, a little bit more liquid stuff, but whatever you have, we can hopefully help turn it into cash for you if you need money for IRL stuff or just want to switch up your inventory and portfolio. And of course, by helping me or, uh, by selling me or helping support me, my channel, and my content. With that being said, let's get right into this today. Again, Astralis is no stranger themselves to drama and they found themselves in hot water once again. Uh, and this all re uh, revolves around the signing of Cadian. Uh, on September 17th, they tweeted out, welcome Cadian, Rifler and IGL. And uh, obviously this is a big, big, big roster change. Um, you know, Cadian going from Heroic, being the face of Heroic for so long, over to Team Liquid now uh, with a short stint in North America, now back to Astralis. Uh, this was crazy. This was a little bit unexpected, but um, yeah, a big signing. Hopefully, he will be able to do some big things for Astralis. Obviously, it didn't work out very well with Team Liquid, but um, hopefully, he'll be able to regain some form and get this team back to the top, whatever. And hey, you, you might be thinking, where's the drama? What's going on? Whatever. But again, Astralis is taking place right now in the Blast Premier Fall Final of 2024. And the crazy part here is that they just signed Cadian, and now they're already planning on throwing him into their next match against Vitality, um, which is coming up. And this has led to some controversy and drama and people being like, hey, what the heck? They just signed this guy in the middle of this event. How is he going to be playing? How is this even going to work out? Whatever. And they have said that uh, obviously he's going to be replacing Bro. And they have said that he is going to be, you know, like an emergency sub because Bro is having some health com or health complications uh, or health issues or whatever. And yeah, this is obviously you can see bro here was bench after six months on the team 1.01 weight rating during his time um, People are really confused and people are upset now rage saying hey, that is BS bro should have to finish out this event and finish out this tournament But blast premiere what they tweet out was regarding regarding the emergency substitution used by Astralis at the fall final Blast policy has always allowed some substitutions for health related reasons that are beyond a team's control when no other eligible player has been registered As of the 2024 fall final blast rulebook does not bind a team regarding who they appoint as their emergency substitute from 2025, we will look into ensuring our rulebook is more aligned to the majors and the parameters of emergency substitutes are better clarified. But per our rulebook, any use of an emergency substitution results in a 25% reduction of prize money and a seeding penalty. So apparently that's what Astralis is going to be eating. Uh, this will be the case for this tournament. In the past, we've denied emergency substitutions when the root cause is visa issues. Per our rulebook, visas are typically the responsibility of the teams and are not considered valid grounds for emergency substitutes in the vast majority of cases. When it comes to player health, we take statements at face value. Uh, as a general rule, if the these statements were subsequently proved to be false, we reserve the right to impose severe sanctions such as denying world final qualification and or additional prize pool penalties. In the 2024 fall fall final case, we have been given no reason to question Astralis' original statement to us and the decision to allow them to use an emergency substitute stance. Now, seems like pretty reasonable statement. Seems like pretty normal things being put out until you get to the really spicy part. You get to the even crazier part of the drama uh, where we have this from Fabian Broik who is uh, apparently, you know, the representative agent, whatever you want to call it. I don't exactly know the right terms, but uh, he says, we represent bro CSGO. Teams have reached out to me regarding his health and or medical condition. He is fully fine. Obviously, unfortunately, he got benched. Nevertheless, Alex is fully healthy and ready to perform. So feel free to keep reaching out. So people are saying, hey, his agent is literally telling us he is fully healthy. There's nothing wrong with him. Why are you being awarded this emergency substitute? It sounds like this isn't an emergency substitute for health complications. It sounds like this is just you brought in Cadian and now you have this, you know, star rifler and IGL and you want to kick bro to the curb and you want to get this guy in as fast as possible. And people are also just so confused with Blast being like, hey, why are you saying you have no reason not to take these at face value when you literally have this 
this tweet from bro's own representation. Now, hey, it is possible that bro's representation just wants to do right by his client. Even if bro, you know, was having some issues or health issues or whatever, his, uh, you know, uh, representation could come out and be like, hey, uh, he's actually not having issues. He's fully healthy. He's ready to go because obviously he is going to want people to uh, sign his client. He's not going to want people to think that uh, he's having medical issues or health issues or whatever. So I don't know. It just gets in this really weird thing. But at the very least, this does seem like something that uh, Blast should have maybe looked into or been a little bit more skeptical of, or at least not say we have no reason to not take what they're saying at face value when you literally have a very, very clear reason that the entire community is able to see. Um, This then did lead to many people in the CS community saying, uh, obviously taking very wrong issue with Blast's stance regarding all of this, but also taking big issue with just what Astralis is doing, you know, trying to make some BS roster move uh, to improve their chances of winning this tournament or placing or whatever. Um, So, you know, Vitality Apex and and Team Vitality, they're saying, hey, get well soon, Vitality Apex. They're tweeting out, you know, memes of him, you know, being sick and not being sick. Um, We have tons of other uh, tweets here from other people, you know, Frag Adelphia saying that they have uh, bronchitis. Uh, I coughed. Source, <laughs> trust me, bro, which is just absolutely hilarious. Um, we have James Banks saying that this could be a quick media day because uh, tons of Counter Strike pros were coming out and saying it might be unfit for Blast Media tomorrow. Might be unfit for Blast Media tomorrow. Might be bla- unfit for Blast Media tomorrow. You know, from Snappy and Kerrigan and Twist and all these other players um, because obviously Astralis is saying, hey, bro, is unfit for our match tomorrow, so we need Katie to come fill in. Um, this is, whole thing is just so ridiculous. Apparently now Heroic has. Uh, is selling some new merch. Obviously, Heroic, the team that has long been tied to Cadian, now Cadian uh, on his way to Astralis, creating all this drama and everything, and uh, Heroic selling these shirts that say, I'm unfit to play today, which I think is pretty hilarious. I think that's pretty good merch. I think that is pretty funny. And then also Heroic saying, what are your sizes, bro? Vitality Apex, Alex Sieb, Snappy, Twist, all these, uh, you know, IGLs in the scene and stuff like that. Also, interesting note here, apparently bro played 10 basic games last night. I guess that's all you're able to do when you're co- uh, quarantined due to Brovid 19 or Brovid 24 or whatever. Um, So that's crazy. Obviously, they're saying he's unfit to play in these professional matches, but he's at home grind and face it just fine. At least it appears. Uh, Surely, bro has proven it's a false statement or I'm I'm confused. People replying to the Blast Premier tweet. Uh, I don't know why all these tweets weren't loading, Uh, but no reason to question Astralis' original statement to us other than the player's agent clearly saying bro's fully healthy. No reason at all. Uh, we also then have uh, Thor CS2 tweeting out IGL's missing from the media day at Blastfall Final, just like how VAC is missing from your matches, which is hilarious. But it does seem like you know players were actually protesting and saying that this is BS and not right and sitting out the media day. Uh, I'm not sure how Blast is uh, going to feel about that and see if there's going to be any you know like repercussions or anything from that. Uh, Ryan uh, tweeting out the brief timeline of bro benching. So again, the Blast Premier Final uh, roster lock was on September 3rd. We had the opening matches on September. 10th. 10th, Astralis being eliminated uh, from EPL on the 14th, and then they bring in Cadian after this deal with Liquid. They announce that Cadian's in, bro is out, and then on that same day, bro's agent said uh, he's fully healthy, and then we have all this drama and controversy ha- happening uh, a couple days later. Uh, Kerrigan, uh, who obviously was a part of the uh, protests and everything, sitting out the media day stuff, uh, he said that he is happy uh, with the things that they were doing, uh, happy with how their statement came across, and obviously we are not happy about the decision. This will eventually set a really bad precedent for the future of the roster changes, which I also agree agree with. Thanks all the IGLs here at Blast for standing up and speaking out on this matter. We have uh, Alec Mist, uh, also saying, or Alchemist also saying, Blast when investigating whether or not Astralis is telling the truth about bro. Whoa, this is worthless uh, regarding his statement from his agent. And then finally, uh, also people keep memeing on this, you know, hey, we can't think of one single reason also with that tweet from there. So I don't know. Absolute insanity is taking place. Like uh, Kerrigan did say, I do think this sets a really, really bad precedent. I think this is extremely abusable. I think teams are going to uh, take advantage of this going forward. I think Blast and, you know, all these organizations are going to have to patch up stuff like this because, you uh, yeah, this is not good. This is very, very exploitable. And I'm sure a lot of the teams feel cheated. You know, we are playing for prize money. We are playing for careers. We are playing for um, big, big, big things and high stakes. Uh, and I don't think it's right to have uh, weird stuff like this go on. I don't think it's a coincidence that they signed Cadian and then, you know, bros magically sick the very next day. Um, but obviously, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on this whole situation as well. And hopefully, this will get sorted out. Uh, and hopefully, we don't see any of this going on in the future. But yeah, big, crazy, weird CS2 drama happening in the scene today. Uh, Hopefully catch you guys in the next one. Until then, peace.